Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here, as you guys can see up on the screen. Today, we're going to be talking a little bit about Mullen Automotive Incorporated. This is ticker symbol M-U-L-N, in case you didn't know. And holy crap, this was a terrible day for Mullen. Uh, this thing was down 14.81%. Uh, you know, coming into the day, we were actually green. I mean, we were just green by a penny, but that market opened. Yeah, hey, at the you know now seeing how it all played out, we would take a penny in the green. But this thing, as soon as the market opened, crashed hard and fast. And uh, you know we got to a bottom of 176 was a low on the day, and then actually rebounded from there a little bit. You know from the intraday lows to close, we're actually up almost 4.3 percent. Which hey. Maybe that means, you know, super copium. Maybe it means we have um, some momentum going into the end of the week. Maybe it means we have some momentum going into tomorrow. Who knows? But this is obviously a really, really bad day. And to make matters worse, yes, the rest of the stock market and the major indices were red. You know, Dow Jones down 0.1, S&P down 0.02, NASDAQ down 0.1, and the Russell down 0.7. Um, but obviously, all the major indices were down less than a percent just because everything was red does not justify Mullen being down 14.8%. So there's obviously some Mullen-specific issues uh, and a Mullen-specific sell-off going on. Now, obviously, that's a lot of bad news to throw out all at once. There is some good news and, and some just kind of news news that we'll, we will be talking about in this video uh, as well. So definitely drop a like if you guys do enjoy it. I would appreciate that a ton. Subscribe to save today and all my latest content. Uh, and of course, as always, there's going to be no financial advice in this video. I'm not telling you guys to buy anything. I'm not telling you guys to sell anything uh just going over the latest you know showing you guys some news stories giving my thoughts and opinions on some stuff uh with that being said let's get right into this so obviously mullen uh, a rough day today over the past month we are now down 42.68 percent in year to date we are down 68.33 percent but again of course as always it depends um you know what time horizon you're looking at again year to date is rough past year is really, really rough. But depending on where you bought, you might have been able to buy this thing as low as 52 cents uh, on the 52 week low. And of course, then, you know, you've like tripled your money or more so than tripled your money since then. So people have a ton of different outlooks uh, and a bunch of different takes on Mullen right now. Some people are still up massively. Some people are still down massively. And there's literally everything everywhere in between. Um, and, and there's obviously people who have never bought at all or, or watch them from the sidelines or just think it's entertaining to follow like I do because it is super volatile because there is a ton of uh, hype around it and a ton of people who really care about this stock. And it's very polarizing. There's a ton of people hate it as well. It's just all over the place. So it, do, it does really make for an entertaining one to follow. One of the big stories we had coming out today was the fact that Mullen Automotive plans to take their EV battery production in-house. This, again, if it goes as planned and if they're able to actually meet their goals and, and meet kind of uh, the things that they are saying, which obviously some people will question, this could be a massive, massive deal that could be very, uh, very good for Mullen in terms of, you know, creating revenue, potentially creating profit down the line. Um, yeah, I mean, this could be a strong, strong, strong upper hand for Mullen. It also, uh, you know, could be more smoke and mirrors, could be a disaster, could be an expensive disaster. Um, but man, the potential is here. This is an exciting, at least thing for them to be saying. Mullen Automotive plans to start EV battery pack production in its research and development facility in California. The company is redeveloping the facility to make room for EV battery packs production. Uh, the battery packs will be used in Mullen's EV vehicle lineup, uh, including the one EV cargo van, five EV crossover, and Dragonfly EV sports car programs. Uh, the initiative is an attempt to reduce dependency on third-party sellers that is a big thing and reduce the risk associated with material and supply shortages now obviously with these supply shortages we have seen and all the supply chain issues we've seen over the past i don't know like year at this point at least like six months this uh could be seen as a, a huge win, it, it, we can obviously now see the necessity uh, and how useful this could be. Now, obviously, in an ideal world, this would have been done a year ago. This would have been done two years ago, and you would be able to reap the rewards so, so heavily right now, while, while so many other companies uh, and EV companies and car companies and, and company companies are dealing with issues like this right now. But uh, I mean, I guess there is no time better than the present. Maybe it's too little too late. Maybe, um, you know, it's probably not even going to be that much of an issue anymore. Who knows? Um, but this is something they're doing and it's really, really cool. But also, yes, uh, reducing the dependency on third party sellers is obviously going to be great. You know, it's going to reduce some of their costs. Yes, it has more upfront and initial cost to, to 
get these things running, um, to, to build the kind of uh, the supply chain in the first place for all this stuff, uh, to, to redevelop your facilities, um, but it could pay some significant dividends later on down the line. Uh, David Mishri, the CEO, says the industry is struggling with supply chain issues. And the more control we have in-house, the better off our vehicle programs will be. Again, yes, uh, they the industry and, and like all industries are struggling with supply chain issues right now. But by the time by the time you get all this stuff up and running and ready to go, um, you know, they're not even talking about I, I don't think really getting anything out until uh, who knows, 2024. Um, is this still going to be as big of an issue? Is this going to be worth the investment? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. We also had this come up on Yahoo Finance, uh, the fact that securities litigation partner James Wilson is encouraging investors who suffered losses exceeding $50,000 in Mullen to contact him directly to discuss their options. Um, a leading national securities law firm is investigating potential claims against Mullen Automotive. If you suffered losses exceeding $50,000 investing in Mullen stock or options, would like to discuss your legal rights. Um, apparently, you know, this guy is trying to get some kind of, uh, you know, class action lawsuit or whatever going. Um uh, and uh, yeah, I don't know. So this will be kind of interesting, something to follow. Uh, obviously, uh, this stuff gets kind of thrown around all the time with a lot of different stocks, a lot of different things going on. Sometimes something comes up out of it. Sometimes there's class action, action lawsuits that um, end up, you know, getting some money out to some people or and sometimes, you know, nothing really comes of this stuff. But we'll have to wait and see. It's at least something to keep an eye on. Not too worried about it, though. Uh, then we have the fact that Mullen Automotive was featured by Yahoo Finance Live. And we have some uh, you know, quotes from David Mishri about that as well. He says, I'm proud of the incredible progress Mullen has made so far, but we're just getting started. Uh, this is what David Mishri had to say. We have a great deal of momentum right now, and I'm glad to see mega sites like Yahoo Finance are taking notice of our potential. And I'm also thankful to all the people who have kept their faith in Mullen so far. So I think this is really, really cool. Um, you know, Mullen obviously has been insanely popular over the last couple months, but it's mostly been on social medias, you know, stock twits. Twitter, YouTube, uh, Reddit, all over the place like that. It's some of the most um, mentioned, one of the most mentioned stock tickers on all of the internet over the past couple of months. Um, so to see, you know, one, it makes sense why Yahoo Finance Live would want to talk about them. Again, people care about this stock right now. If you talk about it, people are going to click, people are going to tune in, people are going to wonder what's going on or what they should do next or what's going to happen next or whatever. Um, but it's also then obviously good for Mullen because they're getting it to a new audience. More people are going to see it. It's kind of a win-win uh, relationship there, but kind of interesting. We also have this, uh, the fact that EVGO seems pretty excited about Mullen. EVGO on Twitter uh, says, we are looking forward to seeing the Mullen 5 hit the streets in 2024. That's what I was talking about, um, you know, with some of their cars uh, getting out in 2024. With an estimated range of 325 miles, the 5 can charge 0 to 80% in 21 minutes. Not bad. And we've got the network to keep future Mullen drivers going. So this is obviously, um, you know, a good sign. And that's what's funny to hear, you know, oh God, good news, prepare for the dip. And, you know, you see Mullen down. 14 whatever percent that it was down today um but again when you're talking about even evgo saying hey we can't wait for this thing to come out in 2024 announcing something for 2024 is not something that's necessarily going to get investors excited today especially um you know more retail investors people who are more um you know investing in kind of the hype or the excitement or you know what you'd consider more short-term investors uh not going to get that excited about something happening in 2024 but it's kind of cool and and nice that evgo is excited about mullen as well um on the downside we have this as well. This guy posting about more dilution. Everyone is so distracted by these tweets and battery news, which doesn't provide much detail in terms of timing and scope. I agree. I wish we would have got some more of that, um, that they didn't see this get slipped in on Friday. And they are saying on Friday um, that, hey, there is some more share dilution going on. This got accepted on April 18th of 2022, uh, effectiveness date of April 15th of 2022, obviously an S3 registration form. Um, I'm not sure if it says the amount of shares or anything anywhere. Um so, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, a guy being worried about more and more dilution, which is always going to be a concern with uh, some of these hyped up stocks, especially stocks that have crazy, crazy run ups. And you might say, hey, Mullen hasn't had a crazy run up. But uh, again, if you look at where we were at from here, you know, we're up, hey, 166 percent. If you go from here, we're up, uh, you know, close to 167 uh, percent, uh, 200 above 200 percent from the uh, 52 week lows or the all time lows or whatever. Um, so, again, if there are more shares being pumped into the market, obviously, 
obviously that's going to be rough for investors, but there is some incentive to do that when your stock runs up 200, 300, 400 percent in a couple of months like Mullen has done. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Let me drop a like if you did enjoy it. I would appreciate that so, so much. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about MULN. I'd love to hear guys' thoughts and opinions. Subscribe, stay up to date on all my latest content. Hope to catch you guys in the next one. But until then.